it's like a you know some people play 12 string guitar other people play a six string guitar it's just how you you got to loosen your head up internally in your mind and learn how to use it right we we with so much going on and so much images you, that you see of surfing, it starts to confuse you rather than just doing it how you feel. Classical music slows you down isn't, because there's no hype to it. It's not. It's. <laughs> yeah, it calms you down. I play it all the time here. Yeah? I used to play it in the shaping bays, everything. This is a, a early twin fin. It's uh, the the shape of this is a pocket rocket, right? That we use. It's got. A, if you look at it, heavy V. Um, they were good. It was, just, it was just very early. Right. V bottoms work really well because, like, you look at most boats, they're all V bottoms. <laughs> right. So you get that rail to rail thing, and that's what the twin fin is. You need the rail to rail. Right. It's not like a thruster. You're on this. You're either there or you're there. The easiest way to explain it is this thing gives you a smaller turning radius. The keel gives you a bigger turning radius. Like keels are really good for boards to go down the line because you're getting drive out of them and just, you know, where this is more, you know, like these are good for bowls, right? Where you drop in, and where keels are down the line more. I'm starting to run concaves through the front. Single, double, and then a pretty heavy V running in the concaves running into the V, so it feeds it. That, that's basically the same. I'm doing some with pintails and then some the longer ones, seven foot ones, you just got a little swallow tail. You know, I don't do channel bottoms. I had a really good talk with AB in the first day, early days. We were good friends. And he was into channel bottoms. He said they're good in some places and other places they're shit house. They're straight. Like everything else on your board's curves. I look at the ocean. I look at shells a lot. I've got some really big shells about this big that would have been so old. But you look how they've been made and the curves in them. All the curves are nearly like the shape of waves. I get, that's where I get a lot of my, in, in how I look at things. This is a, an early down railer. That's a, an early down railer. First tube riders. Before these, all boards had roll bottoms. So these are the first boards to tube ride. That's basically what it is. You know, it's a tube rider. <laughs> Before this, no one wrote tube, no one wrote Kira, PT. PT gives me the credit of the first guy to tube ride Kira. I remember we were surfing Kira and Terry Fitzgerald was up here for a while working for Joe Larkin. And I didn't know, I didn't know who Terry Fitzgerald was. <laughs> I don't know, read. And I paddled past him and said, hey mate, I haven't made a wave from out there yet. <laughs> I just kept paddling and caught a wave and he went far out. Now I know. <laughs> People have fun on it, that's it, you know. It's just a whole, because it's a different feeling. It's going to run differently through the water. It's just the same as when you ride a balsa board, it's so different. It's just beautiful the way you feel the, how it chat and chatters and goes through the water and cuts everything. And like, and like George Greeno always tells me, he said, waves don't change. If they go good, they'll go good forever. The only thing that changes is the way you think about things. It's just another instrument, you know, like it's like a guitar. You've got to learn how to use it. You know, if you get a guitar, you can play different strings, you can play different notes, and it's the same with these. You just got to learn how to do it. 